So 10 News and our parent company, EW Scripps, are teaming up with the National News Literacy Project. It's a national education nonprofit to help the next generation of news consumers learn the differences between credible information and misinformation in today's world. Yeah, this is all part of National News Literacy Week. A team from 10 News worked with students from Carlsbad High over the last two months. 10 News reporter Amanda Brandi shows us the work that they did together. We worked with students in the Carlsbad High television class and produced a story together. We picked a topic important to both teens and adults, social media addiction. The students were involved in every part of the process, from recording the interviews, shooting video, as well as writing and editing the final story you're about to see. They had full editorial control and got to see what's involved in professional balanced journalism. Five hours. That's how long Cassie Cruz spends on social media each day. Most of the time I spend on social media is too much time on social media. But compared to other teens, that's only a fraction of their screen time. I have some friends that spend five hours a day on TikTok alone. A social media user since the fifth grade, the high school junior is starting to notice the negative effects of social media. Definitely takes time away from homework, from my sleep. Well, it's designed to be addictive in some ways. We all have cell phones in our pockets. They buzz, they vibrate. Dr. Jen Wojcikowski is a psychologist with Sharp Mesa Vista in the Child and Adolescent Program. Social media dependence is a trend she's seeing in patients. The negative outcomes of overuse or addiction to technology or social media might be similar to what you'd see in a substance use disorder as well. Teens aren't the only ones glued to their phone, but for them, the damage could be more severe. What we know from adolescent brain development is that teens are more impulsive than adults and they make decisions without fully thinking through the consequences of that. But there are steps parents can take to reduce the damage from excessive social media use. I think the biggest thing is to really set expectations and to understand if technology or social media use is interfering with what you hope for your child in their life. Cutting down screen time could allow teens to focus on the positive aspects of social media. It allows for a platform for people to share their ideas and memories and communicate with people that they may have lost a connection with. Students like Cassie are realizing five hours of screen time a day is too much, but know they have to find a healthy balance because social media is here to stay. Reporting for CHS-TV and ABC 10 News, I'm Maddie Ward. So what did it take to put the story you just watched together? A team from 10 News recorded the entire process of our work with the Carl's Bad High students. We're giving you a behind the scenes look at the guidance we provided the student journalists along the way. And we learned a thing or two ourselves from the students during this process. There is a ton of news out there, but not all of it is accurate. So we're trying to talk to young people this was a first for me, teaming up with high school students to put a story together. We didn't know how much broadcast experience the students had or what to expect. What grade are you two in? I'm a junior. I'm a senior. And you've been working in this class for a few years now? Yes, yeah, so this is my fourth year in it and I did one year at Calvary Middle School. First, we had to pick a topic. One idea was the clear winner. Now there's like Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok. It's like, what's next? Social media use. It was an issue we could all relate to. Yeah, it's like almost pressure to like mm -hmm. be checking all of them when you wake up and like, what did I miss? The students said social media is how younger generations are getting their news. One of the most important things we've learned in our journalism class is just not to spread any news that we're not 100% sure is correct. So just to start off, could you just say your name, introduce yourself, your grade? Our first interview was in the Carlsbad High School studio. Do you think that's too much time on social media? I think most of the time I spend on social media is too much time on social media. I think We were impressed by the class equipment they used to put together a daily show. Do you feel like you could go a day cold turkey, no social media? <laughs> Next, I shot some footage to help tell our story. And it like ended up getting our like dress code changed at our school. So. At the end of the day, we each left with an assignment to log our interviews, planning to meet back up a few weeks later. So today we're going to be putting a, a story together. Mm -hmm. The students and I have different styles of writing. And then like go through those and then yeah. see like what ones your favorite are. and put So we had to figure out how to do this as a team. Like I kind of have a vision of how I might start it. I'd love to hear your ideas. Um, but my first line, I like to have something that really like grabs your attention. Or pulls the story you we create would air on their newscast and ours. 
This one could be good near the end. That's talking about. Um, I like where she was going. Yeah. Do we think that one makes the most sense? Yeah. Yeah. But no, they have to find a healthy balance because social media is here to stay. I like that. Yeah, Sounds that good. With the story written, it was time for the students to shoot their 10 News debut promos. Reporting on a serious topic affecting all teens. For our final assignment, we would each edit our own version of the story, comparing our notes via Skype. Yeah, this this whole process has honestly, I feel like, taught like both of us so much. Yeah, because it's producing stories, honestly. I mean, we do it every month. Yeah. But I but but it's picture. different when you're in the pros. 20. And then it went live on CHS TV. And as you just saw, also on 10 News. Have you made any efforts to reduce your social media use? I learned a lot during this experiment. But what sticks out the most is that these young journalists are on the right track. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. That is encouraging. And you can learn more about National News Literacy Week and how the students created their story on the homepage of 10news.com.